The National Alliance on Mental Illness, better known as NAMI, started right here in Madison. A group of people with family and friends with nowhere to turn decided to be the voice of those struggling with mental illness. Forty years later, the national organization and the local chapter continue to advocate for those individuals. Nancy Abraham was one of the founding members. She sat down with News 3's Danica Lewis about NAMI's past and future. Just get it out there. Just get it out there where you can deal with it. That, that's how I have felt about it. I mean, you have to name whatever it is to be able to deal with it. It's very complex. And it's the old days it was, oh, emotional. It's, this is all emotional, and, and there really was not a recognition or an understanding and then a recognition that there could be negative impacts to the brain in general and to cognition. And I was ready, and that was about three years after Dylan had first been diagnosed with schizophrenia. You didn't really hear mental illness, mentally ill at all in those days. Advocacy for persons with, we use the term then, chronic mental illness, building a nationwide network. And that was here in Madison in September of 1979. So in one weekend, the National was formed here in Madison. Okay. There are no pictures because in those days, <laughs> we were just so revved up that I don't know how anybody could have resisted us. <laughs> that didn't mean that things happened instantly. Sometimes I say, which, you know, it's, it's like an overstatement, that we're still discussing all the same issues, all the same issues. No, it is not a choice. It is not a choice. I would not have chosen it. But what are you going to do? You're going to look at it, and you're going to name it, and you're going to deal with it. Do we care about recouping brain power, or don't we? Or how much brain power do we feel we'll, we'll fund, you know? I, I feel we are losing a lot of brain power by not carefully, carefully taking care of people. Oh, well, individual X is getting medication. And there, that's it, everything's fine. No, that's not how it works when we're talking about these brain disorders of serious and persistent mental illness. To have a quality of life that adds not only to the individual's own life, but to the family, to uh, friends around them, and to the community at large. So that's, that's where I stand on that. Yeah. You can see more of Nancy's extended interview on our Time for Kids Time to Talk campaign in partnership with SSM Health. There are also a number of resources so you and your family can start a conversation about mental health. Just head to channel3000.com's lifestyle section and click on Time for Kids.